it's required. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I mean, this morning we're starting off with uh, some scattered clouds moving in the area, and it's comfortable temperature wise, but by the time they head home from school today, it is going to be very hot. In fact, here's a look at your planner for the morning to the early afternoon hours. Notice the temperatures just soaring today as that sunshine really dominates by noon, 80 degrees, and then by the time the kids head home today, between about 2 and 3, right around 88 with lots of sunshine. They're high today, right at 92. The record set back in 1944 of 98 degrees. And we will still stay warm through the early evening hours, right around 83 degrees by 7 p.m. And it's not really, you know, out of the question that we do see 90s in September. Let's put this into perspective now. We hit 90 degrees and hotter eight times this year. 12 is the average. And last September, Portland got as hot as 95 degrees. And the last ever 90 degree day was in October 5th, 1980. So we still have some time to still uh, to still see the heat coming in. Now, right now, 63 degrees outside. You can see some of those clouds working in with a little northwest wind at three miles per hour. Now, the winds will start to change out of the east today, and that's also going to pull the relative humidity levels down. We're starting in the upper 50s to the lower 60s out towards Astoria this morning. We are dealing with some fog. In fact, visibility is about three quarters of a mile. You are at 57 right now. Good morning to you in Salem right now, 63 degrees. So, as we look at the satellite and radar this morning, you can see the low clouds and the fog along the coast. Once those easterly winds start to push in, we will start to see that uh, get out of here, and you'll see the sunshine. Still looking at some clouds around Longview up the I 5 corridor towards Chehalis, moving into the metro area this morning. But like I mentioned, high pressure is really going to strengthen today, and that is really going to heat things up and it's going to pull those easterly winds in. And as they do, they're going to heat up. So temperatures will soar today, and especially tomorrow, we're going to get into the mid 90s, and some of us might even see close to the upper 90s. So along the coast, 83 today. Great beach day. I've been putting on Twitter that I want to head to the beach or hit a pool. East winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour. You may see a little bit of patchy fog in Salem and Eugene as you get up to around 93 degrees. Staying sunny out towards the east as we're in the mid to upper 80s, even the mid 90s in the Dalles today with east winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Still a hot day out towards Cascade Locks and look at the warm temperatures in government camp 79 degrees. In the metro area, 92 will dip down to around 65 tonight, so still a warm overnight low. All of us, that do see the clouds this morning. Those will decrease very rapidly, and that sunshine will really dominate today. 93 in Hillsboro, 92 in Lake Oswego. Eastern areas looking at about 91 to 93 degrees. And some morning clouds up towards Scapoos, 92 as well. St. John's getting up to around 92 degrees. So here's the forecast, guys. Very hot. Record again, 98 today. We won't see that tomorrow. I do think we're going to break that. That was set back in 2009. 96 degrees. That sunshine will really come back or stay with us, I should say, on Thursday. Still staying at 92 degrees or 90 degrees. Stay hydrated if you are outside. Friday and Saturday, we start to see temperatures dip just a little bit. We'll stay mostly sunny. This weekend, though, Sunday looking mostly sunny. Start to see that cool down right around 80 degrees and by the time we roll around into Monday right around 75 and we'll be partly sunny back